All right, for this question, um, for each of these three questions, we're given two functions, f and g. We need to find out what f composed with g is and g composed with f, set them equal to each other, and then solve the resulting algebra equation. So let's uh, see how this goes. Let me start off by just writing down the equation we need to solve. Uh, for this one, what is g of x? It's 3x. I'll make that replacement. Let me make that a little bit neater. Over here, we'll replace f of x by its formula, 2 over x plus 1. Now, what is f do to something? It does 2 over that thing plus 1. So f of 3x would be 2 over 3x plus 1. And what does g do to something? It just multiplies it by 3, right? So we have that. And uh, now we have an algebra equation. So why don't we start off by, you know, 3 times 2 here. I'll just write it as 6. I'll just move over here. Let's cross multiply. So 2 times x plus 1 equals 6 times 3x plus 1. Let's distribute these numbers across to get rid of the brackets. So it's 2x plus 2 equals 18x plus 6. Let's bring all the x's to one side and all the numbers to the other side. So why don't we do, let's bring the 18x to the left side and we'll bring this 2 over here to the right side. So that's minus 16x equals 4. And then we'll divide both sides by minus 16. So those minus 16's cancel and I'm left with x, which is what I want. And 4 over negative 16, I can divide top and bottom by 4. So I get 1 over 4, and there's a negative sign there. And that's our answer for that one. All right, question B. So let's start off the same way, just by writing down the equation. Now g of x is 1 over x squared minus 3. Let's make that replacement. And f of x is just x squared, so we'll put that in. Now, what does f do to something? It squares it, right? So this is going to be 1 over x squared minus 3, all squared. And what does g do to something? It does 1 over that thing squared minus 3. So this will be uh, 1 over that thing squared minus 3. And what is that thing? x squared. So we've gotten, gotten rid of all the f's and g's, and we just have an equation completely in x now. So let's see how this goes. Uh, why don't I bring the square to the bottom here? The square really goes to the top and the bottom, but one square is just one. So that is all good. And this is x to the power of 4 minus 3. Let's cross multiply here. So x to the 4 minus 3 times 1 is just x to the 4 minus 3. And this times 1 is just itself. Let's go up here. Let's keep the x to the 4 minus 3 as it is. And let's multiply this out. So remember how to do this. We square the first term. x squared squared is x to the 4. We do this times this times 2. So uh, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6 times your x squared, so minus 6x squared. And then we square the minus 3 to get a positive 9. Notice we have x to the 4 on both sides, so those go away. And uh, I'll just write down what we have. Why don't I bring the minus 6x squared over so it becomes a positive 6x squared? I have my positive 9 here. I bring the th minus 3 over, it becomes a positive 3. So we get 6x squared equals 12. Divide both sides by 6. So x squared is 2. And now make sure that you, when you do this here, the answer is not only root 2, right? Whenever you have x squared equals a number, there's actually two answers. One is positive root 2, and the other is the minus root 2. So we have two answers for this particular one. All right, question C. So I, let's just remember, remind ourselves what the functions are for C. We have 2x for f and 1 over x minus 1 for g. So let's uh, squeeze that in here. 
So f, the equation we want to solve is this, right? Let's start off with that. Now, g of x is, um, it was uh, 1 over x minus 1, right? I forgot, i got to check it again. Yeah, 1 over x minus 1 and 2x. And uh, f is 2x. It's a little bit messy. And now what does f do to something? Well, it just multiplies the thing by 2, right? And what does g do to something? It does 1 over that thing minus 1. So 1 over this thing minus 1. All right, there's our equation. Let's uh, multiply this 2 up here. So we'd have 2 over x minus 1 equals 1 over 2x minus 1. Let's cross multiply. 1 times x minus 1 is still x minus 1. Multiply those brackets out. So 4x minus 2 equals x minus 1. Let's bring all the x's to one side. So we have 4x minus x equals 2 minus 1. And we have 3x equals 1. And therefore, x is 1 third. And that's their answer for that last question there.